Good morning, Grace. We're going to switch gears and have our giving moment. Um, every week, one of us gets up here to talk about giving, just to encourage giving and to remind all of us uh, why we give and what, what it's all about. So we talk about things like giving out of obedience to the Lord, about giving generously and even sacrificially and cheerfully. We talk about giving because our love for the Lord uh, leads us to a deeper obedience. And we talk about giving um, financially, giving of our time and our talents, helping a neighbor, sending a meal, doing all the things that we can do to give to others um, in order to glorify the Lord. Um, but today, I thought it would be a good thing to look at the greatest gift that we've been given in the death and resurrection of Christ. And as I thought about it all week, um, it occurred to me that when we look at the life and death of Christ, we see all of those things. And so I'm just going to whip through some scripture pretty quickly. Um, so we see that Christ was obedient to God the Father. Philippians 2.8 says, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. So he also was obedient. Uh, Romans 5.8 says that God demonstrates his own love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. John 4.10 says this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice. He was generous and sacrificed his life for us. And John 17, 1, in Jesus' famous prayer, says, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. So in all these things we see in Christ's death, the same things that we see when we talk about how we should give. And Christ gave himself for us. And it involves all of those things, obedience and love and sacrifice um, and bringing glory to the Father. So I think that when we consider um, our giving, we should turn our eyes to Jesus and think about and meditate on um, all of those factors of, of how he gave his life for us. And it, made, it brought me this morning to Romans 12, where we're told that we should um, offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. Um, that's our spiritual gift of worship. And so I think not only in giving, but in living as well, if we focus on Jesus and his um, obedience and love, um, generosity and sacrifice, that uh, we can not only be motivated to give, but we can be motivated to live, to live sacrificially, to live as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Um, so that's my prayer for us today. Father, um, we just come to you today with great joy and worship and praise uh, that you, from the start, had a plan to rescue us, Lord, and your plan was Jesus. So God, I thank you for his obedience to you, um, his um, devotion and desire out of love to offer himself as a sacrifice for us so that he could offer us forgiveness of sins and everlasting life. Lord, we thank you and praise you for all these things. I pray today that each of us would take this time. We can do it any Sunday, but as we're focused on the resurrection today, Lord, help us to meditate um, on Jesus, to turn our eyes to him, and think about who he was, how he lived, and especially how he died for us, Lord. Let that motivate us to a deeper obedience to you and a desire to live sacrificially out of love. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thanks for watching today. It's our hope that as a result of today that you'll grow in your desire to become the best neighbor ever where you live, work, and play. Uh, we also hope that you'll like and subscribe to the video if that's helpful and maybe even share it with others. Now, for more information about our church or our online ministry, you can go to gracetoday.net slash contact and you can leave a comment and tell us how God's working as a result of the ministry that we've been doing or how we can help you if, that's, if there's a need. Um, that's gracetoday.net slash contact. And finally, if you just want to know more about how to trust and follow Jesus, you can text me. My phone is 843-830-2464. That's 843-830-2464.